another Maki and Yoshiko event, another tearing storm to survive. Hello everybody, this is Nimboy752, aka the player who wants to thank everyone. 300 plus total views on card breakdown videos since Party Kotori in Love Life All Stars. And I'll be doing my card breakdown featuring the Dress Up Magic set, which the scouting banner is available until October 14 afternoon by the time you're watching this video. I will start off with basic info, my thoughts on the cards, and then the verdict. Let's start off with Dress Up Magic Kasumi. Being a small voltage card, her base stats will start off at 7,660 base appeal, 4,560 base stamina, 6,019 base technique with 18.05% critical rate. Her fifth limit stats will end up at 13,708 base appeal, 8,160 base stamina, and 10,771 base technique with 32.31% critical rate. Kazumi's skill is Voltage Gain Buffer, increasing voltage gain by 67.2% for 5 nodes, affecting small cards at 33% chance. Her passive ability is Appeal Plus, affecting small cards by increasing base appeal by 45.2%, and her active ability is Appeal Buffer, increasing effective appeal by 7.2% for 5 nodes, affecting small cards on Strategy Switch at 30% chance. For a small frontliner, this card is pretty impressive. Granted, this scouting UR is nothing special when it comes to having frontliners with voltage gain buffer, and Cosme continues the first year smile synergy. For a Quartz Oshi or Cosme Oshi, her passive skill set is average, and you can set her aside if you have a main strategy that does smile scores better, and you'll need her skill set to boost appeal. Her active ability, however, you're better off making a double strategy team for songs that force you to switch if you hit appeal minus notes. This is what she looks like in costume preview. Now that looks, now that looks like like a Victorian style dress, but um, I didn't expect Kazumi to wear such elegant clothing since her Margaret costume. The headband that um, uses kind of looks like a good hairband design. <laughs> Even her hair style at the back. Um, mm hmm. I can't say elegant Kasumi, not going for the cute side, but at least she looks cool. at least she looks beautiful. And especially she also has the uh, braided hair on her left on the right side of her hair. Dress up magic Yoshiko is an active guard card. Her base stats will start off at 5,548 base appeal, 5,928 base stamina, 7,030 base technique with 36.09% critical rate. Her 5th limit stats will end up at 9,944 base appeal, 10,608 base stamina, and 12,596 base technique with 52.78% critical rate. Yoshiko's skill is healing, restoring stamina by 20-32% of her stamina. Her passive ability is Stamina Plus, affecting active cards by increasing base stamina by 4.2%. Her active ability is Appeal Buffer, Increasing base appeal by 2%, affecting active cards at the start of the song. Where I see Festival 2 Ellie being one of the best offensive healers in Festival 2 lineup, this Yosuko on the other hand is one of the follow-ups for second rate healing. Think of this card like Royal Princess Maddie or Moon Rabbit Rico, which both are whole skill cards. The hard typing makes Yosuko contrasting to those two cards I mentioned. Yosuko's skill focuses on stamina, yet her strongest stat is technique. Plus, her base appeal will not make her viable in Smile Song unless you want to have her have her in effective healers in your strategy. If this is the case, her critical rate should be able to gain voltage by a small margin. Just use her for backliners. Also, if you're gonna use her as guest, I wouldn't recommend because of her low base appeal or increased rate from her back after ability, but it is guaranteed, so this is a drawback you'll need to expect once you scout this fallen angel. This is what she looks like in costume preview. Ah, uh, that's like a gothic Lolita outfit. Cute Steve Fallen Angel with cute colors. Um, I had nightlight mode on, so I cannot tell. Like, but I can tell that she has a cute top hat alongside with streaks of pink hair around her dark blue hair. Finally, to top it off with the ribbon. So, um, childish costume, but at least she still has her charm. Starting this banner, Nijigasaki's SR set LLL, Love the Life We Live, 
will roll out until the end of December. The scouting in your that you can get is LLL Mia. Being an active voltage card, your base stats will start off at 4,402 base appeal, 3,776 base stamina, and 2,302 base technique with 6.90% critical rate. Your 5th limit stats will end up at 7,497 base appeal, 6,426 base stamina, and 3,927 base technique with 11.78% critical rate. Mia's skill is voltage gain, gaining voltage by 25-37% of her appeal, her passive ability is appeal plus, affecting active cards by increasing base appeal from 2-3.2%, to her active ability is voltage gain, gaining voltage by 7.6% of her appeal on appeal chance except. Not bad for Mia to start off her all-stars career with a decent frontline as our card. That's why technique is her lowest, so don't expect to use her in critical ACs. And you can run this card if you don't have other active frontliners. Most players will just get this card to raise her bond cap and costume collection. This is what she looks like wearing the LLL costume. Now, if I were, if I were like a um, fashion designer and I would like to have a uniform uniform uh, color in one go. Um, the the color theme for the LLL costumes is that they go for one color, which is yellow. Um, yellow is usually the um, yellow is usually the main color for DJ Kazaki. So for each of the costume, I think they're gonna ha we're gonna see like slight differences for each costume for one idol. So particularly for Mia, at least her beret is at least her beret looks cool. Even even having her hair already covering her right eye, at least the at least for her first SR card, the costume looks great. I'm gonna expect some variations from different full idols each time. Another Maki and Yoshiko event, another hearing storm to survive. Those who brave the storm will get one your upgrade of dress up magic Maki. Being a small SP card, her base stats will start off at 5,478 base appeal, 3,603 3, base stamina, 6,574 base technique with 34.72% critical rate. Her 5th limit stats will end up at 9,816 base appeal, 6,450 base stamina, and 11,780 base technique with 50.34% critical rate. Maki's sp skill is SP filler. Filling SP gauge by 5-7%. Her passive ability is Technique Plus, affecting small cards by increasing base technique from 4-5.2%. to Her active ability is Technique Based SP Filler. Filling SP gauge by 9% of her technique at the start of the song at 30% chance. If you have Twinkle Starry Night Hanayo, then Maki's active ability is no different. Stats based SP filling is mostly limit increase dependent and it will scale based on how much stat is used and you must be lucky enough to activate her active ability every time you start a live show. I'm glad her active ability util utilizes technique but her stats for an event you are quite meager, especially the appeal of that. It is quite uncommon to get small SP fillers nowadays so I hope this Maki card will help you in tackling SP ACs or generally start building an SP meta team. This is what she looks like in costume preview. Now, fancy, flashy, cheerful Maki. Well, that's all I can talk about that. But I like that the jacket makes her like contrast from her elegant side. Also, to make her to make uh, to make it crafty, they decided to craft Maki's hair, <laughs> particularly um, particularly the twin buns look like cat ears, and then she also has gradient hair all the way down to her, uh, all the way down to blue tips. And this is kind of interesting, kind of contrasting from her usual, um, from her usual elegant side of her. The first event SR to get is LLL Emma. Being an elegant skill card, her base stats will start off at 3,542 base appeal, 2,124 base stamina, 4,458 base technique, with 28.37% critical rate. Her fifth limit stats at, will end up at 6,032 base appeal, 3,617 base stamina, and 7,582 base technique with 37.74% critical rate. Emma's skill is critical rate buffer, increasing critical rate by 5-7% for 10 notes, affecting her strategy. Her passive, is, her passive ability is appeal plus, affecting everyone by increasing base technique. By increasing base appeal by 1 to 2.2%. Her active ability is technique based voltage gain. 
gaining voltage by 20% of her technique on strategy switch at 50% chance. Oh, Emma, her festival 2 card and party cards can get her better stats-wise. Her Antar card is beneficial to rage critical rate if you use her in a strategy. I'm down for her if you're just starting off critical meta, but being an event SR, I guess just get her if you want to start the LLL costume collection. This is what she looks like wearing the LLL costume. Hmm. Unlike Mia from the from an earlier video, um, her LLL costume decides to go for a short sleeve approach at least, and instead of twin braids, uh, she decided to go wear one braid onto her lap, and then the barrette, um, pretty stacked up, and mm, this is interesting. And I guess the rib, I guess the school ribbon this time is right above her. Right above her chest, and then the green her traditional signature green ribbon for the LLL set. Um, quite a quite a, quite a big difference from Mia's LLL costume, but oh well, that's how you start the LLL costume. Starting this banner, Aqua's SR set, Water Blue New World, will roll out until the end of December. The second event SR to get is Water Blue Hanamaru. Being an active SP card, her base stats will start off at 3,948 base appeal, 2,729 base stamina, and 3,437 base technique with 10.31% critical rate. Her fifth limit stats will end up at 6,721 base appeal, base stamina of 4,652, and 5,858 base technique with 17.57% critical rate. Anamara's skill is SP voltage buffer. Increasing voltage gains by 20 to 22% of her appeal for the next SP burst. Her passive ability is technique, affecting herself by increasing base technique from 5 to 7%. Her active ability is technique based SP filler, filling, as, filling up SP gauge by 2% of her technique on each success at 50% chance. I'm not sure if this Hanamar is viable for SP voltage butter buffer. Her active ability will not utilize her technique very well. and. Her card being an event SR, I guess just get her if you want to start the water blue costume collection. This is what she looks like wearing the water blue costume. Nice! Oh wow, I'm going for a short skirt, that was a bit risque. <laughs> okay, other than that, um, I have not recalled much about listening to uh, Water Blue New World when I was watching Love Like Sunshine. But this is actually one of the best insert songs that I've ever imagined. Um, for this costume though, um, at least Hanamara looks like, um, I wish I would call like, um, typical uh, village girl, but dang, that looked better. That looked better, especially the, the design of her skirt. Um, then to finish it off with the yellow ribbon, and it's so... That is already cute for the first year overall. Again, another Maki and Yoshiko event, another tearing storm to survive. Do I have to finish three times in this video? Anyway, Kazumi can be your alternative jade colored reparation Shioriko if you haven't got her in the festival banner. Yoshiko is copying her skill set from Royal Princess Mari and Moon Rapid Rico, but with guard type. She will do fine on offensive healing, but not much on the thorn side. Maki is a great smile as the filler for an event you are, but her active ability is upgradable, so don't expect her active ability to be of any help unless you see her for her. All the URs are attribute focused for this event. As for the SRs, Mia is a decent voltage gainer for her scouting SR, Emma is at least useful unless you want to put her in your strategy for critical hit, Hanamaru is mostly the weaker version of Temptation Blue Cadet, and Wisteria died beauty Nozomi if you just look at her skill and active ability. That's all for this video. If you like what you hear, hit a like and comment, subscribe to my channel, and ring the bell for notifications. I'm streaming games 3 to 4 times a week on YouTube at 9pm till the standard time. I'm also on Twitch at an irregular basis. Links to my socials are in the video description below, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye! See you soon!